He was a very humorous man, a very smart man. Actually, I think he was probably, in some ways, I don't know really the definition of what a genius is, but multi-talented. He could play uh, piano, he composed music, he, uh, he was a charming, he was a good man, he uh, was a gentleman, he was a war hero. He actually uh, was in charge of, of a whole battalion of men in World War II here in Finland. In enjoying his work, in, in seeing ways that it gets expressed, from coffee uh, in supermarkets to bed linens to seeing it on gaming sites such as Tom's Casino, what it does is actually, it's a vehicle to let people know who is this? Because there's young people that are still discovering him. And uh, his message, what is it? Is to enjoy, to pleasure yourself, to, uh, to do what you feel like you want to do. You know, be free. The Tom's Casino is also a way for us to actually uh, put his work out into the popular culture, as is Tom of Finland's coffee or Tom of Finland's bed sheets. And it is now becoming a vehicle to actually young people for them to discover Tom of Finland and what he means. So it's extremely powerful when, when you are young and you see his imagery in, in the context of online, uh, in products on, on uh, supermarket shelves, that he's, he's there, he's, he's almost every, and so he, the discovery process is, is being made more easy for people to actually find him and know who he is and what does he, so they, it opens doors. So in a nutshell, what uh, Tom's Casino is doing, it's opening doors for new audiences and also to discover and also helping us to stay open and, and do what we do so well. 34 years and his desire, Tom's desire was to actually have a foundation of his own that would protect his own work and but also protect the work of others, his fellow artists and also to educate them and also the public of the merits of, of erotic art and how it can actually produce a more tolerant and healthier society. And so something must be working because we've been around this long and uh, we continue to find ways to actually keep his message out there. The conservation of art is very expensive. And uh, in order to actually be able to serve Tom and keep his work around for decades and hundreds of years to come, we have to have revenue to do that. And that revenue is being dedicated from licensing. And the Tom Casino is one of those ways that we're using that revenue to actually preserve and protect his work and also to fund young developing artists. So that's where we're earmarking it.